Introduction to Inkscape. Inkscape is a drawing program for computers. To start Inkscape, if it is not on the launcher, click on the HUD. If it is not visible on the Applications menu, start typing its name in the search bar. Once it appears, you can click on the icon to open the application. Normally, the program opens in a reduced window, but I'll maximize it for this demo. Like many programs, there are several parts to the program window. On the left is the toolbar. The status bar is located at the bottom. The command bar is on the inside right. The outside right contains the snap bar. The main work area is known as the canvas or the artboard. When most people think of images on a computer, they think of photos which are in some type of raster format. Raster images are made up of a series of dots or pixels. Let's switch to GIMP, a raster editing program, and examine a photo. Looking at this image, it is a standard digital photograph. Currently, it is displayed at 25% of actual size. Let's switch to 100% and scroll to the statue of the lion. You can see more detail and it's clear. At 200% magnification, it is still clear with detail visible. At 400%, the individual pixels are starting to become visible. At 800%, individual pixels which make up the image are clearly visible. Inkscape doesn't use dots or pixels. Instead, it uses lines and shapes. I'll draw a little square. And then a spiral. Notice that the current view is at 35%. Changing it to 300% doesn't present any pixelation. At over 3400%, still no visible pixelation, it shows a smooth curve on the spiral. When you draw an inkscape, it is creating a mathematical formula to represent a shape. When you change the magnification, the image is redrawn using that formula to the new viewing level. This redrawing keeps the image smooth. This allows you to draw an image the size of a postage stamp and enlarge it to billboard size without any loss of detail or pixelation. The files are saved in a common graphic format called SVG or Scaled Vector Graphics, which almost every other drawing program, including Adobe Illustrator, can read and write. This is just a quick overview. Please be sure to read the manual for additional details.